Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a real treat today in that I received in the mail a mechanical pencil that I've been thinking about for several weeks that is a variation of a classic mechanical pencil, one that I've had some issues with and have not been shy about expressing that at all on this channel or on my blog, and that is the Uni Kuratoga. Now, the Kuratoga is a pencil that has been around for years. It's manufactured by Uni Mitsubishi out of Japan, and it comes in a huge variety of styles and colors, but what all those styles and colors have in common is that the Uni Kuratoga has this special engine, and the engine basically twists the lead so that when you are normally writing with a mechanical pencil, you naturally have to twirl the pencil in your hand if you want the edge of the lead to be a flat surface as opposed to more like a hypodermic needle. In fact, let me just go ahead and draw that for you so that we have no uh, confusion whatsoever what we're talking about here. And so here is my classic Unicor Toga that I've had. I got mine in red because red is an awesome color. And so normally when you write with mechanical pencils, as you write, it gives the edge of the lead this natural hypodermic sharp point to it. And most people when they're writing don't want to have some of their letters be a big thick font size and other letters to be a very fine, sharp point. In other words, people don't want variability in their writing. So what the Kuratoga engine has always done is there's a little mechanism inside the pencil that spins the lead sort of on this long axis. It is, it is spinning it along this line that I'm drawing, okay? And as it does that, it naturally corrects this beveled point or hypodermic point that happens. And this is actually illustrated on the back of the package of the pencil that I'm going to be showing you today. And so if we zoom in a little bit here, and I'll try to get the focus to go right. Okay, so in this diagram, you can see that as you use a pencil... Rather than it getting this sharp beveled point, since that lead is rotating, it gives it a consistent point the whole time. And so this is sort of like a time lapse of like what the lead looks like as you go. All Kuratoga engine pencils have had this. And Kuratoga engine pencils don't just come in this variety right here, which I, I have the classic model. They also have a high-grade model, which has a knurled metal grip. It also comes in uh, alpha gel model, so that you can get a much more comfy grip. What they all have in common is that it is rotating this lead. Now, my big criticism of Kuratoga's over time has always been that as a result of the lead moving as you go, you get this spongy feeling to the writing. It's also not the best eraser that exists on mechanical pencils, and the eraser dock is always wobbly in all Kuratoga pencils. And so, you know, the Kuratoga has some stuff going for it, and it has some stuff not so much going for it. But I think that this new version of the Kuratoga at least gives me some additional features to really recognize this model finally. And so, what's going on with this? Well, let's go ahead and open up the package, shall we? So here we go. It says Kuratoga on it. So how is this different from any other Kuratoga pencil? Okay, you can see that there's this diagram here showing like the as if you were looking down the barrel of the pencil that the lead is rotating. What makes this one different and special? Well, this is the brand new Kuratoga pipe slide model. And of course, having pencils be pocket safe is a critical feature for a lot of people. They want to be able to take their pencils on the go. And if you take a classic Kuratoga and stick it in your shirt pocket, you're going to stab a hole through your shirt, and then your shirt's going to be all ruined, or you'll have to repair it. And so people like to get mechanical pencil models that have retractable sleeves. Now, the Kuratoga Pipe Slide is not only a retractable sleeve, it is also a sliding sleeve. 
Couple notes on the differences between them. A retractable sleeve is any lead sleeve that goes into and out of the body of a pencil. So if we take a look at this Kuratoga pipe slide model, and I'm gonna try to focus here. Okay, you give a click to the top button and the lead sleeve pops out. If you wanna hold down that top and then push back in, the lead sleeve will retract. That's a retractable sleeve. Most pencils that have retractable sleeves are just that, they are retractable and nothing else. However, some models of mechanical pencils are engineered so that not only does the sleeve retract into and out of the pencil, but it is also a sliding sleeve. And what a sliding sleeve does is as you retract, or I'm sorry, as you write, the lead sleeve naturally and slowly retracts back into the pencil as you write so that you can continue writing without touching the top plunger. And once again, if we look at the package here of the Kuratoga pipe slide and this image in the upper left-hand corner of the package, this sort of illustrates what I'm talking about. So in the top image, you'll see that the lead sleeve is extended out. And in the image right below that, you have that orange arrow and the lead sleeve being about halfway extended. So as you're writing with this pencil, rather than having to continually click the top, like if you're in the heat of the moment and you're, you really need to write this down, you don't have time to click it, these uh, lead sleeve will naturally retract back up into the pencil and you'll be able to continue to write as you go. And you know, that can be a really useful feature if you really need to get something jotted down and you don't have uh, the split second that you need in order to click the top button again. And so these are two features well, three features, arguably, that have been missing on the Kuratoga. You have the retractable nature of the lead sleeve, you have a sliding nature of the lead sleeve, and you're suddenly also making it pocket safe. So, how does this stack up to the original model? Like, what is really different about it? Well, some things are different, some things are not different. Before I do anything else, I want to go ahead and show you the rotation mechanism in action. You can see that there's, hopefully you can see, well, it may be difficult. Let's just bring it right up here, okay? There's a little symbol here. They usually make the Kurotoga with the bottom section here invisible so you can see the mechanism in action. And I'm going to click out a little bit of lead. As you press the bottom as if you were writing, see that little symbol moving? That is an indication that the lead is rotating as, so every time you pick up the pencil and set it back down on the paper, you are naturally rotating that mechanism. Okay. So how does this compare to the classic model? Well, in my original review of the Uni Kuratoga Classic, which I just did an update of it recently, uh, I did it on my blog, I did not do it here on this channel, and so I'll provide a link to my review of the classic model on my blog, but the classic model, I review it as a writing experience of good, quality of OK+, plus, and features of good. And you know it has some pros and cons. The pros are, I really like the grip of the Kuratoga. It's hard plastic, but it's hard plastic that is contoured, and that's not any different between the pipe slide model and the classic model. So writing experience, you know, I would give it a great based upon the grip, but I downgraded to a good because of the natural spongy feeling that happens as a result of the lead sleeve moving whenever you touch it to the paper. And that's, you know, a big issue for a lot of people. It's a big issue for me. Um, it's... Quality is okay plus. I mean, it is an economy pencil. The classic Kuratoga runs about five, six dollars, maybe more if you get like a specialized, like for example, I think this red one was a little bit more expensive because it's in a variant color. But, um, you know, quality, I gave it an okay plus because I would say that it's a slight step up from most economy pencils that are out there. And features, I gave it a good because it has this really interesting Kuratoga engine and it comes in a large variety of colors and styles. But in terms of actual functional features, the classic Kuratoga is pretty much limited to a pencil that happens to have this engine that has a small eraser and a flimsy plastic pocket clip. It's not really anything to write home about, but I wanted to give... Uh, credence to this Kuratoga engine that exists here. So it has its pros and cons. Now how does the new, the pipe slide model compare to it? Well, I'm prepared to give the Kuratoga 
pipe slide and upgrade over the classic Kura Togen. Um, by the way, I tested out several aspects of the difference between these two. In terms of an eraser test, basically the same. Okay, there is that little bit of play in the erasing mechanism when you're erasing either with the pipe slide model or with the classic model. Not a big fan of eraser caps, especially not tiny ones because they just get lost. Um, for the click test, both of them are about five millimeters on 10 clicks. And that matters even less for the pipe slide model because it has that sliding sleeve. And so it's not that big of a deal that the sliding, that when you have a sliding sleeve, because you can keep writing even if you would normally click out lead on the pipe slide model. So how are we going to switch this up for the pipe slide model? Let's, let's go ahead and write it. Okay, since we're here. So first part of the rating scale is writing experience. Because of this retractable and sliding sleeve, I'm going to upgrade us on the writing experience. The Kuratoga pipe slide goes up to a good plus. Okay, so I should probably write down that this is the Uni Kuratoga pipe slide. Okay, good plus. I'm going to upgrade it from a good. Quality, you know, it's, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so we're going to stick with the OK Plus on that. It's not the worst of the economy pencils, but you can definitely tell that it's an economy pencil. Give it a little click there. I like to have a little bit more lead available. Features. It was a good... I'm going to go ahead and throw the uni people a bone and rate it a great. Okay, I mean, you take that awesome engine that a lot of people like because it keeps their pencil lead consistent and you add a retractable and sliding sleeve, even though you know the package isn't perfect, even though it has a tiny little eraser and not the best pocket clip in the world, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a great for features because with that retractable and sliding sleeve and the Kuratoga engine, that's an awesome series of features in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the upgrade in that regard. Um, I paid, so the price, we're going to probably average it right now to a moderate. I think that this pencil came out in late November 2015. I saw it on eBay in, or I'm sorry, on Amazon in mid-December. This pencil is not yet available at most stores in the United States. And I don't know if it's so avant-garde that it, if it's even really going to be readily available in the United States. Uh, I found it on Amazon. The black model with the orange accents that you see right here, I paid $9 for on Amazon, which seemed really great for a Kuratoga with a pipe slide. And the blue and the pink model, so this has been released with three colors. The blue and the pink model are running at $20 plus on Amazon. Whoever is selling it must have got really low stock okay, on Amazon for those because it's considerably more expensive. Um... You know, so I'd rate the price overall moderate. You're going to have to, especially since this just came out, if you are if you don't live in Japan or China, you're going to have to pay more for it, okay, especially here in the United States. But I had to go through Amazon in order to get it. It's not available on Jet Pens. It's not on Cult Pens. It's not on Anderson Pens, okay? It's, it's just not quite available yet. It's so new. But if you're really interested in a Kuratoga model with a pipe slide, it is available and out there. Uh, so what am I going to do for it in terms of the rating scale based upon these upgrades? I think I'm finally prepared to put a Uni Kuratoga model in my top 10. It's better than the Uni Shift Pipe Lock. It's, it, I wouldn't say that it's higher quality than the Uni Shift Pipe Lock, but the Uni Shift Pipe Lock is lower quality than what would one what one would expect for the price range that it's at at like sixteen dollars ten to sixteen dollars um so i'm gonna go ahead and put the uni kuratoga pipe slide in my top 10. i think with it with these added features it deserves a spot now here's what i'm gonna do with it i'm going to bump the pentel twist race gt my favorite economy pencil out there out of the top 10 and into the honorable mentions Okay, and it kills me to do it, but the reality is is that I think that there are other pencils that deserve to be in the top 10 other than the Twister Ace GT. Um, Pentel Twister Ace GT is still going to get an honorable mention. It's going to replace the Classic Kuratoga in the honorable mentions. So Classic Kuratoga is no longer going to be in my award sections. 
Okay, with the pipe slide, there isn't really any reason to give an award to the classic Kuratoga. The engine alone isn't going to do it for me anymore. Okay. Um, I'm going to shift the Lamy Safari up a spot to number nine, and I'm going to put the Uni Kuratoga pipe slide in at number 10 on my rating scale. So this is brand new, fresh out of the factory, your Uni Kuratoga pipe slide. It's very similar to the classic Kuratoga, but has this wonderful new retractable and sliding lead sleeve that for people with, where, with pocket safety is a concern for you, this is going to address a lot of concerns that people have about those sorts of things. And so check it out. It's a little difficult to find right now. Okay, the black with orange accents model is going for about 9 bucks on Amazon, and you can find the blue and pink models if you really want them for the $20 range. I did get free shipping on this with uh, an order over $35, and so uh, keep that in mind. But I'm really excited that Uni decide to uh, enhance the engineering on its Kuratoga uh, line, and the pipe slide is a wonderful addition to that line. So thanks for watching. And I will catch you later.